Tonight we're making a chicken parm quesadilla and the first thing you're gonna do is melt some butter in a pan and then you're gonna add your low carb tortilla to the butter like this. And you kinda want the heat to be off when you're doing this part. And then you're gonna add some shredded mozzarella. And if you're wondering how to make the chicken that we're using, I did it in the video last night. You basically just cut up some chicken and then you uh, coat it with egg wash, crushed up pork rinds, and uh, grated Parmesan. Throw it in the air fryer. You could also bake it or pan fry it. At 400, we air fried it at 400 for like 12 minutes and that's how we got this chicken we're using. I just reheated some leftovers in the air fryer. All right, and as you can see the darker ones, um, I made a second batch that I coated exclusively with. This is the chicken you made yesterday? Yeah. Yes. Now we're gonna add some pepperoni. What's up, Rusty? All right. And last night I dipped it in a little bit of this soup from Trader Joe's and it was so good. It's like their tomato feta. It's not something I recommend for keto if you're like trying to eat soup, but having a quarter cup was not that high in carbs. I think it's like three carbs if you're just using enough to dip your quesadilla in. All right, and we also have to add some seasonings. Threw me off with the pepperoni. That's like gonna make it so bussin'. All right. Just like some oregano. What's on the bottom under the tortilla? It's melted butter. And the reason I turned the heat off after the butter melts is because I do this. You could use a spatula, but I like using my hands. And now we just cook it. Just had an interview at Trader Joe's yesterday. Oh, nice, Jules. I've been making your black and tenders as nuggets and it's been fire. Oh, good idea. Shout out to Anna for making that video for me. By the way, yesterday I did like a thorough cleaning of the bedroom and I cannot explain how much joy it brings me every time I walk into the room. It's like our living room and kitchen are basically, how, how clean compared to the average like living space would you say our apartment and kitchen is? Pretty clean. Pretty clean, but I'm used to it being really clean. We kind of let our bedroom slide for a while and... Because it's small, like, we have, like, so much stuff. Um, but what I was saying is, after spending, like, a few hours cleaning, every time I walk in there today, I get such a burst of joy. And it's, like, there's something to that where if you just, like, keep your home, your living space, like, neat and organized. It's such a good feeling and it's so worth the time that it takes to get it clean. Okay. Oh my gosh. And it's also great for like, if you're struggling with mental health, it's amazing what tidying up can do for that as well. There's actually a lot of research on that. Yeah, these are four net carb mission, um, carb balance flour tortillas. Yeah, I kind of heated the butter a little too much, but whatever. Does anyone know why they put insulin in protein drinks? I've never heard of that. Ooh, look how crispy. I love how these get flaky. That's like my favorite thing. Yeah, it's amazing how cleaning makes us happy, but like the getting the motivation to get up and actually do it is always such a challenge.
But once you're like done or in the process of it, Kate, we made the chicken parm nuggets last night. I'm using leftovers that I just heated up in the air fryer. I really burnt this butter, but I think this looks perfect. Although this side, like this part right here looks so weird. Shout out to everyone who's not afraid of some burnt butter. Look at that. Oh my God, I tried to pick this up with my Somebody hand. Somebody asked what the difference between carbs and net carbs is. Okay, I'll answer that when I get to the camera. So basically, total carbs are all carbs, including like fiber, sugar alcohols, everything. Net carbs are the only carbs that have an impact on your ketones. So if your goal is doing keto and getting in ketosis, you don't need to track total carbs because not all carbs affect your ability to get in ketosis. And the way to count them is very simple. You just look at your total carbs. Um, I could show you. I'll grab like a package out of our cabinet. So sugar alcohols, I'll, answer, I'll get to that too. Um, here's how you count net carbs. So let's take this box of Wonderworks cereal. It has 14 total carbs. Actually, this will be confusing because they use allulose um, right here. It's three net carbs because you take the 14 total carbs and you subtract the three grams of fiber, the four grams of sugar alcohols, and the four grams of allulose. Calculating net carbs became very complicated when companies started using allulose because it's not under, it's not on the label as like, it's not listed there because there's like a FDA or something. There's a reason why. But if a, if a product uses allulose, it's definitely a keto product that will show you how many net carbs it has and you can take it for their word. Um, but let's take a normal product and I'll show you how to count net carbs that doesn't use allulose. Um, I don't think Quest uses allulose. So this is more simple and you'll get it better. So look, 21 total carbs and you subtract fiber and sugar alcohols. Erythritol is basically a sugar alcohol. So... You take 21 minus 11, you're left with 10 minus 5, which is 5 net carbs. And sugar alcohols are just like, they taste sweet, but they don't have an impact on your blood sugar. So it's unnecessary to count them when you're counting your carbs. Did you know that Instagram added a feature where you can have a, a viewer moderate the comments? Oh, really? Bless you. Yeah, isn't that cool? How do you do that? I think I could just, like, if you commented, I could click on your comment. Oh, no. Okay. Cutting this does not look good. Is this your first time cutting a quesadilla? I always cut them with a pizza cutter. Oh no, I made I made a mess up. All right. We're just gonna put it on a new plate. Right. It looks very ugly. Maybe I needed more cheese. Yeah, it needed way more cheese. It's okay, though. All right. The one I made last night looked so much better. I should have taken a picture of it. Do you know what it would be really good dipping? What? The, like, either marinara or Alfredo sauce. Ooh, Alfredo would be bussin'. Yeah, I have marinara. 
right now, but I guarantee I would probably like it better with Alfredo. Yeah, especially since you used marinara yesterday. What do you guys think? Would you dip it in marinara or Alfredo? Ooh, barbecue sauce would be good, Cindy. But the whole chicken parm vibe, I feel like kind of requires marinara, right? All right, let's take a picture of this. Doesn't need to be great, this is fine. Ooh, a lot of people are saying Alfredo. Ooh, ranch. I say we do dip it in some Alfredo. I'll put this back in the jar. Should I keep Okay, I think we're good. Two carbs for a quarter cup. It does have some some sunflower oil, but it's pretty far down on the ingredient list. Um, like you have the cream, butter, Parma, Gaiano, um, Regina, Poo cheese. All right, and this is the brand. Got it at like Walmart or something. If you want the cleanest Alfredo, I think Rayo's is your best bet. All right, put it in the microwave. Guys, I am loving daylight savings. I am so happy that I can go outside at like 6.30 and it's just, the. it looks like it's the middle of the day. How do you guys feel about daylight savings? Are you into it or not? Nah? I think the sleep would upset me if I had a job that required me to be up at like 5 a.m., but I love it. All right, I warmed up the Alfredo. Let's give it a little stir. Mmm. Hallelujah. Save it. Okay. Mmm. Ooh, this is so much better with Alfredo. This is so much better with Alfredo. The nuggets we had last night, 100% should have been dipped in Alfredo. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so good. Mm. I'm in disbelief at how good this is. Guys, please use Alfredo. Mm. Mm. Burn, it's way better. I bet ranch would be good too, Jewel. Mm.
Don't forget to save me, please. Here. I don't want it now. She doesn't want it now. That was so good. Oh my God, all right, we're getting spiritual. Whew. I'm gonna dip some of these nuggets in the Alfredo too. Mm. Mm. As somebody, told me to close my mouth when I chew. I like had like a, mm. So bussin'. I like how you can like comments. It's the first time I've ever had that. I don't see them. I don't okay. see comment likes, no. Let me see. All right, guys. Let's get spiritual. I am drinking, I'm drinking out of Anna's Starbucks cup. All right. Yo, Lord, please be with anybody who's struggling on their keto journey and help them realize that they have the power to change their eating habits. Thank you for bringing this amazing community together. We're so blessed to have each other. And most importantly, thank you for giving us life because every day we wake up is truly a blessing and we should never ever take that for granted. Amen. All right, let's get this breathing exercise in. Breathe in feelings of gratitude. Hold it and feel your body relaxing. Breathe out any stress or negativity. Breathe in feelings of inner peace. Hold it and feel your body continuing to relax. Breathe out any tension or anxiety and remind yourself everything's happening exactly as it should be. Breathe in feelings of self-love. Hold it and feel your body continuing to relax. Breathe out any self-doubt or negativity and remind yourself that you are beautiful and you are worthy of reaching your goals. All right, guys. <sighs> Let's get this visualization in. Um, this is where we're just going to visualize ourselves in a tempting situation and imagine ourselves overcoming it. So close your eyes, relax. Imagine you're at a Mexican restaurant and you're sitting down to eat. And imagine they bring out those chips. And imagine you can't help it. You take a chip, you dip it in the salsa, and you eat it. And then your inner dialogue, this is what you start thinking. I already had one chip. It's not a big deal if I have two. So imagine you have two. And you start thinking, you know what? Let's just say screw it and get back on track tomorrow. But then imagine you stop yourself and you take a deep breath. And you say, you know what? I don't want these. I don't need these. And nothing good would come from having these. The fact that I had two chips is fine. It's not a big deal. It doesn't mean I need to give up on the entire day. And imagine yourself waiting it out. Maybe even eating the salsa with a spoon. I did it today with queso. Um, we went to this restaurant and I had some queso like, with a spoon. It was so good. I just ate it like that. So you can do it. You don't need to sabotage yourself just because there are chips in front of you. Think about your goals. Think about the jeans you want to wear. Think about the life you want to live. Think about how do you want to feel when you're 75? Do you want to be bedridden? Do you want to feel like your life is over even though you may be alive for 10 more years? Or do you want to be running? Do you want to be exercising? Do you want to be happy, feeling good, loving your family? Like, 
think about the things that matter to you and do those things matter less than the chips right in front of you? Because if they don't, then you don't actually want the chips. All right, guys, I love you. I believe in you. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a blessed night. Bye.